We are in Meadowood Farms in Marion County. As you know, we're horse capital of the world here, so we have over 50,000 horses, and a lot of them are densely populated here in the western side of the county. When you have thousands of horses, you get tons of, well, waste. Waste that can adversely affect the region's groundwater and spring shed due to rainwater infiltrating the upper Florida and aquifer. The nitrogen and phosphorus from the manure turns, it's a nutrient, but turns into a pollutant when it's stockpiled. Which is why the Southwest Florida Water Management District, the University of Florida. This is Mackay. And Marion County horse owner Jim Bain are working side by side on a research project. They're trying a natural way to reduce the impacts of horse waste in the Rainbow Spring Shed. The title of the project is Composting at Equine Stock Facilities. My name is Carissa Wickens, Equine Extension Specialist at the University of Florida. My name is Caitlin Bainham. I'm with the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Marion County. The project is funded by the district's farms program. FARM stands for Facilitating Agricultural Resource Management Systems, which is a cost share program that implements best management practices to improve water resources. Here is a three bin composting system for helping manage the equine waste stream on this property. This is actually our moisture meter. The idea is that in composting in particular, we are creating a more stable material, um, so we have less potential for leaching of those nutrients. Um, that's also why it is such a good slow release um, media or, or fertilizer for pasture systems. The process is relatively simple in the context that each and every day we will pick this feed paddock and we will pick the stalls if they've been in them and we take it up to the manure bins and we dump it and we turn it in to the active bin. There are three bins up there. One is basically cooked, done. Uh, another one is cooking and another one is the active bin that we, that we contribute to on a daily basis. When I say cooked, what, I, what I'm talking about is that it is fully composted and is ready to be field applied and we use it to put it over seed we, we, when we seed in the spring or the fall. My name is Gene Altman. I'm a senior professional engineer with the farms program in the Southwest Florida Water Management District. The district is funding this project because we need documentation or evaluations, or research, to eventually lower the nutrient loading going into our groundwater, which eventually comes out through our spring systems. I am fifth generation Floridian, and I wish to preserve our resources for future generations my children, my grandchildren, and their children's children. It's very important for a proactive approach to have these different entities working together to fund this research, because otherwise, I'm not sure as a university that we'd have these opportunities. And to show people that, you know, water management districts and the university, and that we can work together, again, for this greater good concept of wanting to provide water for future generations. We wanted to participate primarily because we believe in the environment itself. We enjoy the springs, we enjoy the nature, we enjoy the parks, but we're on a well. And being on a well, we live on the water that's in the aquifer. And as a consequence, when you talk about the water management districts and their efforts to protect that water table, that aquifer, we're all in. The two and a half year project will continue to collect water samples from rainwater runoff and nutrient levels in the compost bins with the eventual goal of protecting spring sheds. We're reducing the total volume of waste that has to be handled. That's very important for the health of the spring sheds, um, but also just in terms of overall health and, and good management of their horses and their farms. <laughs>